In this video, I'll be showing you how to clear your Xbox Series X console's cache. So if you've been having a few issues lately with your Xbox Series X, and perhaps maybe you've been getting some cache error messages pop up as well, this can help resolve those issues. Not only that, but clearing the cache on your Xbox Series X can also help improve the performance of the console and speed things up if you've noticed that things have been getting a bit sluggish lately on your console. So the first thing that you need to do is just press the Xbox button on your controller. You now need to go across to your profile icon and you then need to go ahead and select settings. You now need to select general on the left hand side and you then need to go across to sleep mode and startup. Once you're in this area, you now need to go down to full shutdown and go ahead and select this. You can now go ahead and press shutdown and this is going to completely shut down your Xbox so the fan is no longer spinning on your console and it's completely turned off. So I'm now going to go ahead and shut down my Xbox Series X. Alrighty, so once your Xbox Series X has fully shut down and you no longer have the light on the front of the console, you now need to just look at the top of the console and just ensure the fan is no longer spinning. And as you can see, mine is no longer spinning, which means I can now go to the back of my console and you now need to just simply unplug the power cable. As you can see, I've just unplugged the power cable there. It's right next to the HDMI slot. So once you've unplugged that, just leave that for about 30 seconds. The longer you leave it, the better. Okay, so once it's been over 30 seconds, you can now go ahead and plug your Xbox Series X power cable back in. I'm now going to go ahead and do that. And once you've plugged it back in, you can then go ahead and turn your console back on. And you will now have cleared the cache on your Xbox Series X. So I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more computer sluggish videos, click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.